everybody welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be going over all things fall fall crafts fall books fall snacks it's gonna be awesome so grab a cup of coffee and let's get to it showing you guys our fall reading picks uh, shortly but you guys I love fall I love the weather changing and all of the just kick off to the holiday season the warm cozy sweaters the hot drinks I love it all and last year we were kind of finding our foundations with homeschooling so we didn't really I was not this planned. <laughs> I did not have, oh, I'm gonna do fall books and we're gonna have all of these crafts. And I mean, I didn't feel the need to supplement because the kids were in a co-op that did that, but this year we're in a social co-op and not a let's go learn co-op, which I mean, socialization is learning, but you get what I mean. So last year they were getting arts and crafts from their co-op. This year, I don't think that's gonna be the case. So I am going to go ahead and plan some arts and crafts with our fall books, which I'm super excited. All right, so our first book is The Magic and Mystery of Trees. I've heard a lot of really great things about this book. It looks really beautiful inside. I'll flip through in a moment. But it says, come into the forest and discover the secret world of trees. Did you know that they send underground messages to one another? Have you heard how they take care of their families? A tree is much more than it seems. My goal is to start a garden with the kids this year, so I wanted to really incorporate a lot about how flowers grow and how trees grow and what they do and what their purposes are. So I think this is gonna be a really fun book. And with this one, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be doing a lot of nature journals. We're gonna be, I wanna really try to incorporate a morning walk I'm not sure how that's gonna go because there are a lot of mornings that we have things to do, but I really wanna try to incorporate getting out every morning and walking. Next up is our fall leaves, colorful and crunchy. I thought that Addie would really like this and there's a little um, leaf activity in the back that I'm gonna combine with this book so that they can um, just pair a craft with the book and kind of tie it all together. I thought that that would be really cute and fun and I'm excited for them because they love that kind of stuff. And our next book is gonna be The Keeper of Wild Words. Um, this one isn't necessarily about nature, but it does have a lot of really beautiful nature photos in it, which is why I chose it. Um, it's a little girl exploring all of the words that are slowly becoming lost and just trying to keep them coming within her vocabulary and using them and making sure that they aren't forgotten words. And with this one, we're gonna be making a tree with uncommon words and we're gonna be writing definitions for those words so the kids can learn some new ones. And then we're gonna make a flower for one person with all the words that describe them. So I think that that will be a super fun craft to do and it'll inspire them to dig down and think about somebody and all of the things that, you know, they mean to them. The next is Goodbye Summer and Hello Autumn. It um, goes about all of the different just seasonal changes and it's just really beautiful. And with this one, I thought that for our craft or our treat, we could go ahead and make brownie pumpkin patches. So where you kind of mix up the brownies and then you get those little candy corn pumpkins and throw them in. I thought the kids would like it, so we'll see. Our next book is gonna be Seeds and Trees. This one says, follow the story of a young prince who gives seeds, which are words, to and gathers from those he encounters. Later in his life, he notices how the dark trees seek to be harming the green ones and discovers he can cut down uproot and then replace the dark trees with green seeds and it says be careful what you water for it will surely grow i think that this is going to be a great book not only to learn just a little bit about nature but about our words and the seeds that we plant and i might even incorporate um actually i am going to incorporate some bible verses about 
our words and how we should use them. You know, sometimes kids are, especially siblings, they fight a lot and they don't always use their words for kindness. So I think that this will be a great book to kind of just show them, you know, that when you're, when you're not being kind, that those are the seeds that you're planting and are those the seeds that we want to be planting. And with this one, we're going to be talking about how to use our words. And um, the Bible verses that I'm going to be going over with them is going to be Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4, 16, verse 24, and chapter 18, verse 4. So if you guys want to follow along, that's what my plan is. And last but not least, a leaf can be. It says, a leaf is a leaf, a bit of a tree, but just try to guess what else it can be. So it goes over all the different things that I guess a leaf can become. I don't know if that's an appropriate description, you guys. I looked over all of these books when we first got them, but it's been a little bit. So um, for this one, our craft is going to be make a pit, uh, painting with little broccoli stems on Pinterest. <laughs> I found people cut up broccoli and then they put paint in them and used them as little paintbrushes for trees and the pictures turned out really cute. So we're going to try it and we're going to see how it goes. So a leaf can... All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and do a quick flip through in the book so you can kind of get an idea what each one is about and see how pretty they look. book that we're working on and the kids have some little crafts and things like that or worksheets that they can do while we're reading but I think for fall I'm going to take out everything that we have in there and I'm just gonna put these books and we're gonna just read them as we go and instead of our morning basket time looking the way it currently looks I'm going to take this book and whatever book we're reading that day we're going to try to do a craft during morning basket time I think that the kids will love that it'll speak to their heart they really like crafts and I'm not gonna lie last year I wasn't really good at crafts I'm a, which is kind of funny because I'm a really crafty person you guys but I just I don't know some something about crafts with kids just overwhelms me and they were getting a lot of that in their co-op like I mentioned at the beginning of this video but they're not getting that now so it's not gonna be perfect I don't know if we're gonna end up doing all of the crafts hopefully we do I'm going to also be planning some kind of little like they can make their own little fruit parfait that's fall color themed or candy corn color themed I don't know we'll see <laughs> but that's our plan for the fall. What is your guys' plan? Do you have any fun activities planned? Let me know in the comments so maybe we could try to incorporate some into our homeschool. If you don't know where you follow me on Instagram, go check it out, Homegrown Homeschooling. Um, I'll be posting the photos of the things that we do, the fun activities, what their paintings look like, any uh, snacks that we make. Go check it out. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye!